this is Rick Cassell from exercisesforinjuries.com and Fix My Back Pain. This is a special video for Mike Westerdahl and everyone at Critical Bench. So what I wanna go through in this video is the best yoga pose for the back. And I'm gonna get Orsi to demonstrate it. And what it is, is going into a downward dog position and then into a cobra. So Orsi's in standing. She, you can see that her heels are on a rolled up mat. You can end up using a towel or a yoga block. And she's doing this because, you know, just the, a lot of people don't have the flexibility in their calves and the hamstrings in order to get into that downward dog position. So you can end up giving uh, that a go. Now Orsi's gonna go from a standing position into that downward dog position, bending at the hips, walking out. She's in that downward dog position and then she's gonna end up moving into that cobra position. Good, and coming back out. Key things to end up remembering, bending through the hips, you're straight in that upper body, you need good range of motion in the wrist, good strength. She's coming through and coming back up. So it's an excellent upper body exercise and a great flexibility exercise for the lower back. Excellent, Orsi. Perfect. So there you go. You can end up giving that a go. That's an, it's an excellent yoga pose for the lower back. You can utilize the mat if you end up ha being really tight in the calf and in the hamstring. So going from standing, walking out, moving into that downward dog position, really making sure your upper body and arm are in a straight line. There's no change in the curve in your lower back. You're bent at the hip, and then you're moving into that cobra position. So there you go, give that a go. Your back will end up being thankful that you end up giving that yoga pose a go. So this is Rick Cassell from exercisesforinjuries.com and Fix My Back Pain saying take care and bye-bye.